Here we go again, a watercolor response to Landscape Artist of the Year, season eight, episode four. And the only thing I could work from was this screenshot, which was blurry to begin with, but I did my best. So let's get started. I'm gonna show the eight entries, and then I'm gonna do a very, very speeded up uh, response from watercolor and show you what I did. I'm not happy with what I did, but first of all, let me explain. It was a very, very great day. There was absolutely no natural light in a very, very complicated scene, but I could only work from a screen capture, which was frustrating for me. So here's entrance, the first uh, contestant. Um, so the colors were all very muted in this episode. This person, I don't know how, because you're set up in a pod where you have to all look at the same view, but somehow she was able to turn and get more of a, a longer view of a road, which um, I'm not gonna say which one I like better. I'm not gonna say what the judges did because that would all be spoilers, but it was interesting that she could do that. I don't have that option. I'm working from Google Pictures. And um, so that's very hindering. Here comes the next one with a full emphasis on the walk, on the uh, roller coaster, which is enormous. And you can see a little bit of where my screen capture was able to, that yet yellow building is, is there. It must be somewhat iconic to the scene. Man, that roller coaster is enormous. Uh, this is, there's so much happening in this scene. Oh, and also I should say, remember this is landscape painter of the year and in the past, the emphasis has been on landscape. This year, they've gone a little cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, and they're doing a lot of industrial buildings. So it is what it is. Next applicant. Uh, she is a uh, uses pencils in her application uh, piece. It was one of those pieces, you know, that took weeks and weeks, if not a month, to do. And so being put in this situation is definitely a handicap for her. And... Um, she sure is a good drawer, though, and a very good drafts person. And there's excellent design in this painting as well. Again, very, very muted colors. This is very true to what the scene was that day, which is unfortunate. Uh, the next one coming up has tremendous amounts of energy in it, which I respond to. I said I wasn't going to comment. Well, I am going to comment. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot of energy in this painting. Uh, I don't know how he did this because, uh, I mean, in terms of how he did this from his brain, because you would have to be in a drone shot in order to be able to get this picture. But um, but this is what this fella did. And um, I, could, I could really be critical of this painting, but I'm not going to be. It has the, uh, let's stick with the energy of the day with uh, the roller coasters and knowing that there are many people coming to the beach to have a good time. And that must be what Blackpool is all about. The actual beach is called Pleasure Beach. But look, <laughs> Pleasure Beach, <laughs> looking at these gray pictures. <laughs> Does that say Pleasure Beach to you? Not to me. It was, and, and painting, uh, painting my submission was hardly Pleasure Beach. Um, here is another person who works in pencil. And so again, I think there is a handicap in plain air when you're working in pencil. I think it was even raining that day too, although they do have a covering over them. The pods are kind of cool. They're see-through and, and sort of uh, trapezoid shape and, and just really interesting uh, to look at. Uh, the next one pumps up the color, which I do appreciate, pumps up the energy. Um, what can I say? I really enjoy this painting. It's almost, it's almost on the verge of being abstract, but... Um, let me just say, I thought the judges would really, really love this painting, but I would say if they loved it, they did not show it. So, and remember, the judges are always looking for something different. They don't want to see just good painting. They're looking for something they haven't seen before, so they tend to like things that are out of the norm. So that said, here is the submission of contestant number, where, where we are, I think we're at seven. Yeah, one more to go. And the last one, this is much more like the screenshot I was able to get, which is very flat. But I don't know what you do. This is really where those pods were set up. If you were going to look directly across in terms of the view, that's what he, he had to work with. And I feel like he and I had the same conundrum. We're kind of stuck with this very flat looking um, subject and we've got to do something with it. 
and you know you just do the best you can i think they have four hours to work which would kill me i if i had four hours i don't i would bake a cake and a pie as well <laughs> I can't sit that long and do something. So here's my very, 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 very speeded up version. You can see the screenshot on the left. I didn't even bother making test dabs of darks, mediums, and lights. I just decided, just pretend you're there that day. Do the best you can. But I can't say that I ever had a feeling for the place or a feeling for the day. And, you know, most of the emphasis was on Putting, uh, getting as much color in the grays as it was possible to get, but I do think that my uh, entry is is quite flat, not something that I would ever be happy with as a painting if I was painting it for pleasure. And I honestly, I don't, I don't think I felt a moment of pleasure while painting this, except the pleasure for having getting it done, having it be done. I have pleasure for that, the completion of the painting. <laughs> there's, there's always that. And in, uh, and in a minute, I'll show you, you know, my final version of this painting. The next episode that's coming up, they go back, I can't believe it, they go back to Royal Ascot, Ascot sorry, which really stinks. And, but they go to not the front of the arena or the racetrack, but the back. And I don't think I can find a source photo for that. So I don't think I'm going to be able to make a video of that one. And, um, but I will make a, a video about what the, what the different applicants, what their paintings were. And um, boy, do I disagree with the judging of that episode. That's where I get my love-hate for this program. Love watching the painters. Hate it when the judges go for something that I just completely disagree with. And wanna, I kind of want to get into bed and cry for a few hours. But um, anyway, that's how I watch the program. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. See you next time. Bye-bye.